Right then, this is just a quick review and road test. A fairly limited review, in all honesty, because it's um, I'm only really concentrating on the interior of the car um, and where you sit, uh, but also then a just a road test of the vehicle. The reason I'm doing the video is because, as I said in uh, the last one I did, we're now just entering lockdown. And mostly as a business, we do videos on cars, obviously just to show the cars working and to just go through the mechanical issues to make sure that there's nothing there for people to worry about before they drive to us and less time spent on actually why I really like the cars. Um, so that's why I'm doing a series of videos, really. It's just for a bit of fun, um, nothing really serious. Um, and it kills a bit of time for me while I'm bored and not working. Um, we bought one of these um, a few weeks ago. It's a first CT200 I'd actually sat in or driven. And and I immediately, immediately liked the car. And that's not always the case with cars. Sometimes they get in and they can leave me a bit cold. Even cars I expect to like. Um, but with this one, as soon as I sat in the vehicle, I just found the size of the car, the intimacy of the dashboard, what you looked at with your eyes, what you felt with your hands. Um, pretty much everything felt absolutely lovely um, and fully aware that you know what pleases one person doesn't necessarily suit another um, but the things I like about it straight away I like basically the layout of the interior which you know you could say aspects of it are the same as other cars and you know of course it is you know they, they, they can't kind of reinvent the wheel um, but what they've done is just there's something about the layout of it which to me is just so pleasing to the eye because it's got um I say that the graphics the um the, the 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 dials the kind of the mixed up with kind of chrome it just somehow works brilliantly well and whoever did it whoever designed it i think is a genius um but other things i really like now this model comes with the sat nav as you can see up there uh, little things, I know again other manufacturers will do this, but it's the first time I've really seen it. Um, a, it's up there, it's nicely nice to use. You can press that button there, you can flip it down if you don't want it, and then open it back up again. And of course, the sun comes in at different angles in the day, so it can shine off the screen. So a little button here means you can tilt it and put it at different angles. And I think that's just a, a really clever design. Um, but also what I like is the fact that they've separated completely the climate control system from the unit up there. Um, on old Lexus you had to use the screen to do the um, majority of the climate control functions and they've just done a really nice job of separating it. Um, down here you've got these new style little mouse affairs. I'm not a massive fan of them, I have to be honest with you. Um, the reason is that when you're, on, when you're stationary it's fine, but even then it's, yeah, it's quite sensitive. Um, I sort of go into different things and it was, actually it's not probably as quite as bad as I thought when you do that. Um, it's got a distinct click action to it, which I'd never really noticed before, so you can largely ignore what I've just said. Um, but I, I, I still actually find it slightly fiddly, but the fact is your hand rests on it very nicely. Feels good to hand as well. All the other stuff just feels brilliant. Daft as it sounds, the gear lever, again, just a, a little thing, just when you select gear, it's just got a nice action to it, how it works. It's just really nicely done. Then down here, you've got this rotary button, eco, normal and sport for the engine mode. And, and again, just love it. Pull it to the right and you get this lovely dashboard comes up with um, sort of red lights. And then you get the rev count instead of the um, power um, dial on there just a really really nicely done the steering wheel feels brilliant in hand as well on these um, but I'll pull away so we're turning on about things like that but uh, said it, it, it is it does give a, a real sense of occasion and I think that's um, you know all important on cars so when you get in there should be kind of a bit of a wow factor to it um, it's a bit of a you know when your mates get in the car you, you feel a little bit smug and happy that you've got something that is as different as this actually is um, and then on top of it you've got the drive of the car so immediately when you pull away you've got what you get with it, um, the hybrids and certainly the Lexus ones you've got this amazing seamlessness to it so you put your foot down 
there is obviously no gear change because it's CVT. So you just put your foot down and go. It's in sport mode. It's got very, very sharp sort of throttle response. You're up and going. Uh, it sounds rawtier as well. Put it back into economy mode or normal mode, it sort of smooths it off slightly. Um, but it feels, again, there's a sense of occasion. There's something different to feel, something different to talk about. Um, and I know the world's now getting used to hybrids and the way they work and the, the Lexus system has been out for many, many years now, but it still is impressive. That's what I, I think is fantastic about the car. Um, but just driving day to day, it's a, it's a very smooth way to sort of get from A to B, particularly if you're doing a lot of sort of in a city and uh, in, in heavy traffic. You don't, you're not getting that constant jolting on and off the throttle, which you can get with um, sort of normal conventional gearboxes or manual gearboxes. Obviously, it will then be dependent on how you drive. So, if I was in traffic now, stopped, waiting, you go to pull away, and again, you get that lovely, smooth pull away. <coughs> but it is, it, it is fantastic. It really is. Um, when you're on the move as well things that you notice when you're driving the car first and foremost is this the seats in these things are brilliant they're so comfortable they're really supportive you feel like you're in the seat you've got the most perfect driving position every the, everything's straight ahead hold your hands out it's got a um, lovely sort of you feel quite low in the car which is really nice your arms are out straight um, you feel like you're in a little kind of cockpit in a, in a race car, that, that kind of feel to it in terms of how your sort of bum sits on the seat. Um, that's cracking me. Um, driving along, generally speaking, it rides really, really nicely. It's a very, it's a, it's a slightly firmer ride than you get in lots of Lexus cars. It, uh, maybe they've gone for a slightly more sporty feel to the car, I don't know. Um, but you know, it, on some things like the IS and the GSs, they kind of seem to float along the surface. This one feels more, and probably deliberately, kind of slightly Germanic. It's slightly busier, um, but then of course you've got far less body motion going through the corners. Um, but they've struck a really nice compromise with it, which is ultimately what suspension is all about. Um, because it, it is very, very nice indeed. It, really does go through corners very nicely the steering's well weighted um it, like all modern power steering systems it doesn't really give you much feel because it's obviously electric power steering um, but what it does give you is a really good impression of it um, which is far better than most but they are it's a i find it it's a, it's a car you want to get in and drive um, you enjoy it you sit in it and like being in it um, and it makes you feel a little bit good about yourself. And I think that's a really, really nice thing uh, for cars or what manufacturers achieve. Um, as I said, it's only a, a very short video and it's made even shorter by the fact that I'm now having to wait for on this beautiful frosty morning, cows to come across the field. It's a proper rural scene here this morning, uh, but I'll leave it there. It said it was really only just a bit of fun, just a, a short video, just to sort of say what I like about these cars. Uh, and it is, it's a very, very pleasant vehicle.